Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got a ton of stories for you, starting with the release date and specs of NVIDIA's upcoming GTX 1650 Super, a new Ryzen CPU, a microcode update, AMD is beating Intel in price to performance by over 5 times, and Intel is set to slash even more CPU prices. Of course, make sure you don't lose money with today's sponsor, Privacy.com, a free tool that gives you complete control over your data. At Privacy.com, you create virtual cards for each online retailer that you use. This means retailers never see your actual card numbers, so if there's a hack, no one gets your digits. Plus, if someone tries to use your virtual card somewhere else, it won't work, and you'll be notified when it happens. To top it all off, you can control how much money is taken out of each card monthly or even total. And did I mention it's free? So what are you waiting for. Gain control of your online shopping today and you'll get $5 free when you visit privacy.com slash gamermeld and add a funding source. Okay, it's news time and really quickly, I do apologize if I sound awful. I've been sick for the past few days. Please bear with me for that. Anyway, first up for today, it looks like Nvidia has yet another super GPU set for release in the coming weeks besides the GTX 1660 Super. This time, it's the GTX 1650 Super. For a little while, things have been back and forth of whether it was a 1650 Ti, Super, or what. But according to video cards, NVIDIA revealed to the press that it is in fact the 1650 Super. And if you saw my last video, you know the 1660 Super is set to launch on October 29th. The 1650 Super, on the other hand, is coming November 22nd. Unlike the 1660 Super, we don't have a price, but we do have the full specs thanks to a post by video cards while I was doing this video. As you can see, it comes with a whopping 1280 CUDA cores with a base clock of 1530 MHz and a boost of 1725 MHz. Like the GTX 1660 Super, the 1650 Super also comes with GDDR6 RAM, though it's 12 gigabits per second versus the 1660 Super's 14. It also has a higher wattage, but given Nvidia doesn't up the price too much, this could be a huge upgrade over the current 1650. Next up for today, a new CPU is spotted in AMD's product master list, so we know it at least exists, but whether it'll make its way to store shelves, be deemed an OEM part or what, is up in the air. Either way, it's the Ryzen 7 3750X, and as you can see, it's listed as a 105 watt CPU. Unfortunately, there isn't too much more information, but it's safe to say that this is an 8 core 16 thread CPU that fits nicely between the 3700X and 3800X. And with the wattage reaching as high as the 3800X, I'd assume it's much closer to it, but with there only being a 300 megahertz difference in clocks, there isn't too much wiggle room. Either way, I'm excited to see how this plays out, and if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get updates on this story as soon as I know. Speaking of updates, I have a new one regarding the new microcode AMD sent out to fix issues with boost clocks on Ryzen 3000 CPUs. The update was sent to motherboard vendors who then had to include it in a future BIOS. And finally, there's a few beta BIOS that have been released with the new Agisa code. Well, Computerbase.de got a chance to run some tests, and using the beta BIOS on ASRock's Fatality X470, the 3800X went from a 4.245 GHz all-core boost to 4.325 GHz. All in all, that's a 1.9% increase, which obviously isn't much, but this was an all-core overclock, so every little bit counts. I expect more motherboards to get beta updates soon, followed by final releases. Next up for today, while sticking to AMD news, during the company's recent Epic Horizon Executive Summit, AMD made some pretty incredible claims. Specifically, that their second-gen Zen 2-based Epic CPUs can get as high as 5.6 times the performance per dollar versus Intel's Xeon Platinum counterparts. The tests were done in spec rate, which does seem to be a fairly comprehensive compute performance benchmark. I mean, look at this. AMD's $3,400 CPU actually beats Intel's nearly $18,000 chip. That's unbelievable. And while that is the best case scenario, going down AMD's lineup, you can see that the company still beats Intel's counterparts by 200 and even 400%. Honestly, it's just unbelievable what AMD has been able to do with their Zen-based processors. With that said, things may not be this way for too long, as Intel is planning to cut even more CPU prices if this next story is true. If you haven't already seen my video on it, Intel's upcoming Cascade Lake X CPUs have already been announced, and they're literally half the price of last gen, but apparently Intel isn't done. 
According to ComputerBase.de, the company is planning to cut the price of their current gen Skylake X series of CPUs in half as well. And while we haven't seen too many drops in the US so far, it does look like some German retailers are offering drastic discounts already. Let's just hope we see even more price drops across Intel's product stack. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for cheaper Intel CPUs or what about AMD's upcoming 3750X? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.